uh, I think it helps that we're sort of not playing those characters that they saw on TV. We're playing the people that played those characters. So <laughs> it's, it's sort of like meta and detached from those characters enough that it makes it a little bit more inviting for people. One Tree Hill fans and Royals fans know the three of you as a specific character. I think that's something that a lot of actors that are on successful shows deal with. Um, how do you think that these fans are gonna react to these new characters? Because I will say it's a bit more, it's a bit edgier than we've seen before from some of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little racy huh yeah I think it'll, it'll be uh <laughs> I, you know we, so we've we've think we've had the fortunate experience to to uh show it at some festivals and get some feedback from some people that are, are fans of, of the shows that we've been on before and uh for the most part overwhelmingly positive which, which is uh, a great relief for us because there's definitely has been that thought or that concern of you know you know would, would, they, would they like this is this is going to be something different would they be you know used to, to seeing something or so attached to something um, like one tree hill or the royals where you know they've got uh, such an affinity for those characters and that to see you know, these people that played them differently and doing i don't know you just there's a little bit of a concern there um and thankfully you know we, we, we've gotten a response that um a lot of the, the fans of the shows have, have grown up and 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 to see something um a little more edgy and and with uh you know, a little sharper life experience. I, I think that uh, they can relate to that, and and it's um, it's been something that's well received. Uh, so we hope that uh, that trend can continue. I don't know. Do you want? Do you guys want to add anything, James or Alex? No, that, that was great. I mean, I think that's. I think he hit it on the head. It's. Um, I, I think it was a real relief to see that um, people welcomed a more sort of stripped down version of um of us i guess you know and and i think it helps that we're sort of not playing those characters that they saw on tv we're playing the people that played those characters so <laughs> it's it's sort of like meta and detached from those characters enough that it makes it a little bit more inviting for people um but yeah the show is more indie and it's more raw and it's rougher around the edges i mean a show like the royals and a show like one tree hill are is very beautifully shot and really soft around the edges and it's um I mean, they're just, you know, they're, they're gorgeous. And our show is, is supposed to feel a little bit more like life um, with, all of its, uh, with all of its flaws, right? And, um, and so, yeah, like Steven said, it was a relief that, you know, I think a lot of our audience has grown up in a way that they're ready for a more sort of adult approach to life depicted through television, more raw. Yeah, absolutely. I agree um, with that. <laughs> yeah, I think what I was just going to say on top of that one thing James mentioned before is that the, when he first was talking about the show, he's, he wants to have the feel of, of it kind of like you're peering around the corner on, on somebody's lives. And I think, um, you know, a show like One Tree Hill, the Royals, it, it's, it looks fantastic. you got these big set pieces and everything shot perfectly. Um, but, you know, to bring, like James said, that raw feel to it where you feel like, you know, these people are at home and you're just hanging out with them at home and, and seeing some of their really low, intimate moments. Um, that's, that's something we wanted to play with.